What's up, YouTube? So I'm headed over to Dumpy Ford in Northeast Philly because we can't stand going to the Ford dealer in Maple Shane. And that was a Ford steering wheel control module with 40 something thousand miles that is out of warranty. How about that? Out of warranty. So you buy a new vehicle, you don't drive it a whole lot and shit fails. And then you go to the dealership thinking that they're going to help you out and they give you the old fuck you, uh, it's not covered. In a nice way, I'm sure. Does that make you all smiling and happy to go back and buy another Ford or Chevy, Dodge or Chrysler? Um, how about these Hondas? 18, 19, 20s? Uh, design problems, improper maintenance procedures. Are you more inclined to go back and buy another Honda again? Knowing that you bought a product with tons of problems and it was out of warranty, didn't do anything for you? I'm curious to know what your feelings are about that. Um, and you may just be a diehard uh, Honda, Chevy, or Ford buyer. Say, hey, all right, so I, I got a bad apple and you're not the only one. But then do you go back and buy from that manufacturer again? And I will tell you, it's almost not any better anywhere else you go. So what do you do? You've been buying Hondas for 20 years or 10 years or whatever. And now all of a sudden you got to run a bad, bad design stuff. The car is out of warranty and you get no help. Do you just trade it right then and there into the dealership and buy another one of their poor design vehicles? Let me know.